everybody. This is your in-clutch review on ventilator alarms. You guys will thank me after you watch this short video. We're going to talk about the two different kinds of alarms and what they mean. Okay, so when it comes to vent settings for NCLEX, there's two alarms that you really want to make sure you're familiar with. You want to make sure you're familiar with the high pressure alarm and the low pressure alarm. So if you have a question about a high pressure alarm, I want you to think blockage. Okay, <laughs> let me spell it right. <laughs> All right, so um, there, this means that there's a lot of pressure that the vent is feeling when it's trying to give your patient um, oxygen. So when you see blockage, I want you to think either the tubing has become kinked or your patient needs to be suctioned and there's a lot of secretions that are blocking that passageway, okay? When you see low pressure alarm, I want you to think air leak. I want you to think air leak, okay? And this means that the tubing either has come, become disconnected, all right, or it's, um, or maybe there's a hole in the tubing that somehow, it's somehow been damaged, all right? So those are your two pressure alarms. Now, if you get a scenario and you don't know what to do, the alarm is going off and you're not sure what is happening, the best thing for you to do is to disconnect your patient from the, um, from the vent and manually bag them, okay? So you're going to manually give them respirations until you can figure out what is going on, all right? This is safety. This is a totally safety issue for your patients, and you know you've got to perform safely if you want to pass NCLEX. So thank you for studying with me. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.